So the final speaker of the session is uh, Yamayuchi-san, who I invite up to the podium. Uh, I believe you are in the same research group as your colleague. I'm not sure, but please come on up. You'll be talking today about light field display using wavelength diffusion multiplexing. Uh, he uh, received a um, bachelor's degree in EE as well, and he's also a master's student at uh, Nagaoka University of Technology, and we'll be talking about light field displays using wavelength multiplexing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chair Prasan. Uh, I'm Masaki Yamauchi from Japan. Uh, today, I would like to present about light field display using wavelength division multiplexing. Uh, here is the outline of this presentation. At first, let me talk about introduction. Uh, 3D displays are effective in advertisement and exhibition because they can attract interest and attention of people. In the case of applications like them, it is preferable that screen size is large, uh, that multiple viewers can see 3D images simultaneously, and that viewers can see 3D images without special glasses. Uh, here is one of related research about 3D display. Uh, this method uses rotating screen. The system projects proper images to rotating screen in time division. Multiple viewers can see 3D image simultaneously without special glasses. However, it is difficult to enlarge screen because of structure which rotates screen at high speed. On the other hand, uh, here is 3D display which realizes large screen. This method uses multiple projectors. The display shows 3D image by, uh, by the projectors showing images to each viewing point. Thus, this display realize, realizes large screen. However, there is problem of difficulty in installing and adjusting. Here is 3D display using active scanning screen. The screen reflects light from projector to viewers while swinging by a mechanical motion. The display shows 3D image by time division projecting different images depending on screen direction. This display also realizes large screen. However, there are problems such as occurrences of vibration and noise and necessity uh, maintenance uh, because it has mechanical motion of screen. Uh, to summarize uh, previous researches, presently, uh, there are a few large 3D displays which have preferable features. Also, they have some problems such as difficulty in installing a vibration and noise. Therefore, we aimed at that realized 3D display which solves, solves problems as mentioned above. 3D display aimed has five features. The first is that the screen size is large. The second is that multiple viewers can see 3D images simultaneously. The third is that viewers can see 3D images uh, without special glasses. The fourth is that the installation of the system is easy. The fifth is that the screen has no mechanical motion. And then, I would like to explain our proposed method. We propose the display which consists of spectroscopic screen and wavelength modulation projector. Spectroscopic screen shows images uh, of different wavelengths depending on uh, viewing points by uh, chromatic dispersion. Wavelength modulation projector projects images of 
uh, narrow band wavelengths while switching them at high speed. Therefore, this system can show 3D image to multiple viewers by projecting uh, proper images depending on each well, wavelength. The installation of the system is easy despite the large screen because this system uses only one projector. Uh, also, this system doesn't occur vibration or noise because the screen has no mechanical motion. I'll explain screen and projector in detail. Spectroscopic screen is uh, composed of diffraction grating, a Fresnel lens, and range killer, a vertical diffuser. Uh, light from projector pass through from one to three in order, and reach viewers, they have effects of uh, diffraction, uh, reflection, and diffusion about light uh, respectively. At first, uh, diffraction grating changes direction of light rays travel depending on its wavelengths. Next, uh, Fresnel lens uh, focuses light rays on viewers. Uh, thus, this screen shows images of different uh, wavelengths depending on horizontal viewing point. Also, uh, viewers can observe images regardless of height because of the particle diffuser. Next, uh, let me explain about the projector. Wavelength uh, modulation projector is composed of white light source, a uh, white light source, uh, concave direction grating, and high speed projector mainly. Light source emits white lights to concave direction grating. The grating con converts white light into narrow band wavelength light uh, and put it into high speed projector. Thus, uh, the projector projects narrow band wavelength images to the screen. Let me explain about concave diffraction grating in detail. A concave diffraction grating has a feature that can, uh, that can scan wavelengths by its rotation angle with two slits fixed. The relationship between rotation angle and wavelengths of gained light is expressed by such as this equation. In proposed method, high-speed projector projects images of wavelengths, which depends on rotation angle of concave direction grating. Thus, the projector can project images of narrow band wavelengths while switching them at high speed by swinging the grating. This figure shows schematic drawing of overall system. In summary, a proposed display can be uh, divided into the spectroscopic part and a spectroscopic screen part and the wavelength modulation projector part. Spectroscopic screen shows images of different wavelengths depending on viewing point by chromatic dispersion. Wavelength modulation projector project images of single uh, narrowband wavelengths while switching them at high speed. Therefore, this system can show 3D image by projecting proper images depending on each wavelength. In proposed method, the display cannot express colors of 3D object. This is because colors of images depend, depend on viewing point. However, images which change its color according to viewing points can attract interest and attention of people. Thus, uh, although the proposed display has a constraint of color, it is effective in advertisement and exhibition. Next, I would like to explain the system design. 
We designed the display system in order to confirm principle of proposed method. We decided that screen size is 300 millimeter by 225 millimeter, and viewing distance is 600 millimeter. Wavelength of images is from 400 to 700 nanometer, and refresh rate is 60 hertz. The spectroscopic screen was designed, designed to satisfy this specification. Resolution of diffraction grating and incident angle of light rays are designed so that viewers can observe images from just in front of screen. Wavelength modulation project also was designed. 6.12 degrees of swing angle is needed to scan set wavelengths by concave diffraction grating. A width of output slit is 0 0.5 millimeter. This value affects quality of display image. When width of what output slit is large, a projector can project more light all at once, and display image become bright. However, there is a possibility that viewers observe different images simultaneously uh, by overlap of display images because bandwidth of projection image become wide. Thus, it is needed to decide width of output suite considering balance of both. Swing motion of concave diffraction grating is necessary to scan wavelengths of light at high speed. In proposed method, lever crank mechanism is used to realize it. As shown in figure, swing motion of link C as lever is obtained by simple rotating motion of link A as crank. We designed link length ratio to obtain necessary swing angle. Crank needs to rotate at 60 hertz, as same as refresh rate of display. We conducted a simulation of the screen by ray tracing. It is found that the screen shows different wavelength images depending on viewing point. A viewing zone is 182 millimeter. Also, light figure shows a simulation result of display image. It expressed difference of observed image according to horizontal movement of viewing point. We confirmed that the screen can show 3D image from this result. And next, I will talk about experiment using the prototype of the system. And we made the prototype of proposed system based on earlier design to conduct experiment. Uh, here is the actual system. The system uses a halogen lamp as white light source. The experiment purpose is to confirm that display shows image to collect viewing points uh, depending on wavelengths of projection images. In order to reach this purpose, we took photograph of display image from assumed position after setting projection image and its wavelengths. We did that about some wavelengths. Here, is, I sh uh, here I show an experimental result of observed images from each viewing point. We took photographs of assumed images with different color from each viewing point. Therefore, we verified a part of principle that proposed display can show 3D image. 
However, the displayed images are dark to see with human eyes. Uh, finally, let me summarize my presentation. We propose 3D display which consists of spectroscopic screen and wavelength modulation projector and which has feature as shown below. We verified principle that a proposed display can show 3D image with different color depending on viewing point. As our future works, we will conduct experiment of high speed scanning of wavelength and verify crosstalk of images. Also, we will improve the system in order to gain enough bright images. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.